So we are now at a point in which your child has learned how to multiply single digit numbers or maybe two by ones or three by ones. And now it's at a point where it's time to teach some long multiplication. I hope I said multiplication earlier, not division. I'll rewind this and check it out. I think I said multiplication, but we are teaching multiplication and it's going to be a long method. All right. So long multiplication, and we're just going to use the place values in order to multiply. So I see you scratching your head. I got you. I got you. Let's move and I will quickly tell you about place values. So what are place values? Well, you know, place values uh, go with the number and operation and they're understanding the value of each number during its uh, with regards of its place in line. So right here, and we start from right to left, we have our ones, our tens, our hundreds, and our thousands now it can continue going and going and going and going repetitiveness now i'll put a comment here to show you how it breaks so we have our thousands hundreds tens and ones ones tens hundreds thousands back and forth either way you say it it's going to be the same and so what your child is going to do is they're going to basically learn how to align those numbers in order to decide and decipher what the product will be during in their multiplication equation. So to move forward, let's say they have, they're multiplying five times five, all right? Now your child probably already knows like the back of their hand, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, the answer is 25. And so what they're gonna do is they're gonna put 25. There's a five in the ones place and a two in the tens place, all right? Um, but is it the same as we move on? Yes, it is. And you want to make sure your child has this understanding of place values right here, because what we're going to start doing is adding these, once it gets right, adding these zeros here. A lot of times children understand or they don't understand, they learn that all right, I have to add the zeros, but they don't understand what it's for. And what it what it does is it accounts for the value of the digit being multiplied. So I'll go again, if you see, if your child sees five times 25, they know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this number first by the times the number in the ones place, and then I'm gonna multiply the number times the tens place. And this problem, we just multiply the number in the ones place. So if I multiply the number in the ones place for 25 times five, I will get five times five equals 25. They'll carry their two. Then you'll go five times two equals 10 plus two equals 12. Therefore, five times 25 or 25 times five is 125. But what happens when we start seeing numbers such as these? All right, your child, at first will want to panic, but it really isn't that hard. They're going to do the exact same thing that they just did. They're going to multiply five times the number in the ones place times the number in the tens place, all right? Then they're also, I'll switch to blue here. They're also gonna multiply the number two times the number in the ones place and the number in the tens place. So I'll go red first because I'm gonna focus on five times five. Again, five times five equals five I carry my two because it was really 25. Five times two equals 10 plus two equals 125. Now I'll switch to blue. They're going to take two and multiply it times the number in the ones place and then the number in the tens place. But what is different about this two than about the five? Well, the two is in the tens place, right? So what we're gonna have to do is we're going to have to account for this zero because the two is in the tens place. And that's where we add that zero to account for the number that is in the tens place. So back to our problem, we are going to add our zero to show that this two is not just two, it is actually 20. I know, I know, I know you had to pause it. Great, yes, it's 20, not, it's not two, it's 20, because it's in the tens place. All right, so 20 times five, or in this case, two times five, because we've added our zero. Two times five equals 10, zero, carry my one. 
two times two equals four plus one is five. Add those together, five times, five plus zero is five, two, 625, yes, 25 squared is 625. All right, the next one. This I'll stay with the same format. Five times five equals 25. Carry my two. Five times one equals five plus two equals seven. Five plus, times two equals 10. All right, then I am now switching over to the number in the tens place. Therefore, I have to add my zero because two is not two, it is 20. So two times five is 10, zero, carry my one. Two times one is two plus one equals three. And then two times two equals four. If I add it all together, together what do I got? Five, seven, three, five, five thousand three hundred seventy-five. Now the final one. All right, so I'll stay with my color scheme, and I'm going to work. Pretty much look at that one, but anyway, I'm going to go five times every number, one times every number, and two times every number. But that one is actually ten, and that two is actually two hundred. So let's see how that works. All right, so first your child's gonna go five times five equals 25, carry their two. Five times one equals five, plus two equals seven. Five times two equals 10. Got that. Switch colors. I like being able to switch colors. All right, so I add my zero and I'm adding that zero simply for the fact that that one is in the tens place and I need to uh, account for the zero and it's not really one, it's 10. So one times five equals five, one times one equals one, one times two equals two. Now, what does your child do when they encounter a number in the hundreds place? Well, that's 200, right? Right, you see a two, right? Right. What are you missing? Two zeros. Okay. One zero, two zero. And that color didn't change. So you know what? So you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go over here and we're going to erase it just like that. And I'm going to use black. How about that? All right. So zero, zero, two times five is 10, zero, carry my one, two times one is two plus one is three. Two times two is four. So I'm going to add it up. Five, 12, carry my one, two, I got six and four. Hope I'm right, Four, forty-six thousand two hundred twenty-five is your answer. Now again, remember you're using place values. Your child really needs to understand the fact that just because the number is a two, it really is in a place value of 100. It represents 100. And when they understand that, they'll understand what those dreaded zeros are there for and that they're not just adding them out of thin air. Thank you again for joining me on my learning block. I'll see you next time. Keep learning with me. Thank you.